Hey, this is Cubition, and this is the second tutorial in a quick series on how to use the multimedia program LMMS. This time we're, we're going to be covering the sidebar right here and all the different features that come with that because it's very important. I did use the sidebar to insert this in the last tutorial, and I'm keeping this project open for the sake of demonstrating the use of the sidebar. So the first thing you can do with the sidebar however is you can load a project from this because this is your my projects things there's some um, factory projects that come with the thing with the program we'll not worry about those right now but save you want, say you want to save your project you can go to project save or you can just do control s um, and it opens up this little window and you can save this i'm going to call it lmms tutorial project because we're using it for an LMS tutorial. So you just hit save, it has this nice little box saying you saved it, and open up pro projects and then you hit refresh and ooh there it is. So say I open up LMS and it's the default project but I want to get back to that pretty cool song I made. I go back to LMS tutorial project in the my project section, just double click on it and it loads everything up for you very nice. So. Then the next thing is the instrument plugins. It's uh, instrument plugins. <laughs> Triple oscillator is the one we'll be worrying about mostly, but I'll give tutorials on all those different things later because all these can make some sort of noise. Um, I probably won't actually do tutorials on all of them, just the ones that I find especially useful. Um, specifically, Zenad sub effects. That is probably one of the most powerful synths out there. Um, it's essentially, you could do anything with Zen add sub effects, but it is very complicated and we won't get to that for a while. There's this my samples in the sidebar and this is what I use to insert that drum. There's a folder that does not come in the factory. I'm sorry, I forgot to remove that from my installation before I started the tutorials, but everything from bases to waveforms comes in LMMS. That's just a big folder of kick drums that I downloaded. Um, but all these different things are sound files. And if you click on it, it's sounds. But yeah, there's lots of different samples in there. Shapes and waveforms are actually not something you can really hear. It'll just be a little blip. But those are actually used with the triple oscillator, and I'll show you how to do that later. Um, so there's actually, my samples is actually in a folder that is in your LMMS active directory, which I'll show you what it is. But uh, you can actually add your own samples in folders like this because I download that and I put that in. And it's just a folder with a bunch of files in it with some pretty awesome bass drums in it. So you can add your own samples to that. Presets. These are basically instruments. Um, audio file processor. Uh, the folder with this in there is essentially sound files because audio file processor processes audio files which you find in my samples. So Bit Invader is one of the, one of the plugins, but and um, there and there's not only that but I mean, there are so many instruments, especially with Zenad sub effects. Like I said, you can do pretty much anything with Zenad sub effects, and 
in just one folder there is tons of presets for Xanad sub effects. So you can actually load and save presets from here. For example, this is just the default triple oscillator. And so if you click that button, that is a save preset. And it automatically goes to the triple oscillator folder because that's the instrument you were using. And so we can do default preset because that's essentially what it is. And hit save. And sure enough, if we refresh it in triple oscillator, default preset. There's our little preset there, so you can actually do that. Usually you want to save presets that actually have something done with them so they sound good. Um, but that's what the presets are for. Then this is my home and my computer. There are basically file browsers just in case you have files that you want to insert to your song that are not in your LMMS folders. And it's very simple. Um, instrument plugins, by the way, it's pretty straightforward. It just has the instruments there. But say you want to add sound font, it's nice. LMMS has a built in sound font player, and it is free because in FL Studio you have to buy it for $30. But, um, of course, there's no sound fonts built into LMMS, so if you have a sound font, you can actually insert it in, into there. But that's kind of how you use the instrument plugins, is you can just drag stuff, and then... And it really... That's really all you do as far as the sidebar goes. It's just a great way to take in stuff to your program and put stuff out of your program. So, yep, that's the tutorial on how to use the sidebar. Thank you, guys.